Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Del and I am back today with Football Manager Season 2. This has been quite a while since we finished Season 1. Uh, it's just taken me a little bit of time to get back into the swing of things. But we're here today with our first friendly of Season 2 against Sevilla Atletico. And then for the second game in today's episode, Episode 1, we play Atletico Madrid. So... That's going to be fairly interesting to see how that goes. But yeah, so just a quick recap for the newcomers to the series. If you are starting to watch from season two, we came, we won our, we won the second division B1, which is the third tier in Spanish football. If we just go ahead and click home and then click on Oviedo, uh, not the players. Where do I need to have a look? Um, club, that's the one I'm looking for. We, what, where would I find it actually? You club information? Oh, I don't know, I can't actually find it, but I'll just describe it. Basically, we won the second division B1, which is the third Spanish tier, and then we got put into the playoffs to get promoted to the Liga Adelante, and overall, we came second in the playoffs, losing out to only. Who was it we lost out to? Um, Cadiz, that was it. That was the one team that managed to beat us just in the final, unfortunately. But by that point, we had already secured our promotion. So we are now in Liga Adelante in the second season, promotion in our first season. As it is a new episode, a new, whole new season, we've got quite a lot of emails that I want to go through that I've uh, saved. So the first one is season expectations. I have told the board that we believe that I believe that we can achieve a top half finish. That has set my transfer budget at one point two three million pounds and a wage budget at seventy point seven one thousand per week, which is fairly hefty to say we are only in the Liga Atalanta, so I was fairly happy with that. I didn't even have the option for avoid relegation or anything like th like that. The lowest option was mid-table finish, and then the highest was achieve promotion. I went in the middle and just went for a top half finish. The fans player of the year for last season, Diego Severo, he was an absolute god for us. He also, if we have a look up here, was named as the top goal scorer for the entire league, which was pretty fantastic. We've signed a couple of players. We've signed up this Lithuanian young, midf young midfielder, Diamantas Petravicius on a free transfer. He got released from Nottingham Forest and I think he looks, doesn't look amazing, but he could become a good squad player, so I signed him. We've also signed this guy on loan, Cedric Omoigi. Om Omoigi. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. He has left Mallorca and he's just come on loan to ourselves. He plays as a striker and on the left wing. And then Petra Vicious, I believe, is a midfielder as well. Yeah, he's on the right wing. We've also uh, announced a link with FC Red Bull Salzburg, which is very handy indeed, I think, because they're a relatively rich club, obviously, FC Red Bull. And... Um, yeah, just I was trying to get a link to happen last season, but that didn't come through. But then the board managed to uh, pull one out of the bag just before this season started. And then David Fernandez, he didn't actually play for us much at all last season, but I have signed him again this season mainly because he's not actually that bad, and we didn't give him much of a chance last season. He's 30 years old. His stats, he could be a, quite a strong squad player for us, I reckon. So we we've kept him in. Now I have got it just before the first game against Sevilla Atletico, so we're going to jump in here. I'll show you guys the lineup we're running. So I haven't changed any of our tactics or formations. They went so well for us last season. I've kept everything the same. The only change I've made to, this is pretty much one of our bog standard lineups. If we go from Severo up front, Nico and Font in the attacking midfielder positions, Sene and Sosaita back in the, uh, a little bit further back in the field. Then we've got E-Race at defensive mid, Lopez, Vila, Sergio, three of our defenders from last season, Esteban in goal. Samuel Camille, he's the other signing that we've made. He looks pretty fantastic, to be honest. He can play anywhere across the centre or the left side of defence. He's French, 29 years old, got him for 400,000, and he actually looks pretty great. He also speaks Spanish, so uh, that's not a problem for us at all in terms of the language barrier. And we've signed him from Ponferradina, who uh, got relegated, I believe, last season while we got promoted. He looks uh, relatively good. So we've got him at left back because he is quite a bit better than B Danny Bautista, who was there previously. Just looking at our bench as well, we've also signed this guy, Carlos Salvador. Signed him from Alcoyano, 
who are also in the league below, and he looks relatively strong as well. He was at uh, 325k. I can't remember. We signed him for 275, and uh, he might be making his debut today, maybe at halftime because it is a friendly. Might bring him on for an eco. So yeah. That's what we're going to be running with today. I think I have covered all the signings. Oh, the other one is Oscar Rubio. But I think I covered him at the end of last season because that was confirmed a while ago. But he is on extended leave at the moment. So, let's jump into the game. I realise that I have just talked to you guys for about five minutes straight there. PSG lost to Granada. Wow. Okay. Let's go. I'm ready for this. I am excited to get the new season underway. Excited to see how we do. Teams are still warming up, I can see. Colorado are playing... Colorado? Colorado Rapids, that's it, against Real Madrid. FC United of Manchester playing Ashton United. Uh, they reckon a draw is the likely result. Sky Bet thinks differently, though. Uh, yes, continue to opposition instructions. We got to listen to... Where's... Oh, Joshua Lopez, that's the guy. I completely skipped him for some reason. Wait, is Joshua Lopez our best? He's actually not anymore. Jose, Jose, Maria Rico is. But he reckons something different. How about Antonio Rivas? I do still need to, obviously this is only the first um, pre-season friendly. And I've still got to make a couple of signings. I want to try and bring in another striker. In case Diego Severo doesn't perform this season. I do want to bring in a couple of new staff members. So that'll all be happening as the pre-season plays out. Let's go. There's places up for grabs. Impress me. Ooh, not a any reaction really. Get out there and show me why you deserve a place. Surprised I got a good reaction from Severo actually. You'd think after last season he was a uh, he'd have a fairly cemented place, but oh well. Let's go. Finally got the new season underway. Well, the new pre-season, I suppose. Hector Fonts on the ball, he's played it across to Sasaita. He's whipped the ball across. Oh we've hit the bar. Gutted. Unlucky from Severo. He's whipped straight back across. Sene's on the ball. Never mind. Oh, that's something I was going to do, actually, because I did mention at last uh, season that I was going to change the rules this season and have it on extended, and we're only going to have two games per episode instead. So episodes will probably stay about the same length, but we are only going to cover, cover two games per episode. So let's uh, start that off, because I did forget to do that beforehand. Good challenge from... Not quite, okay. Interception there from Camille, the new guy. Fantastic. Fonts on the ball. He played it to Severo. Severo's just holding up play, looking for that pass. Played it all the way back to Nacho Lopez. Who's whipped it across to Sergio. To Enico. Enico's on the wing. Could he get a ball in? Yes, he can. Font has buried it. Get him. 1 0. Is only a friendly, but always important to show dominance in every single game, whether it's a friendly or not. I'm very excited for this game against uh Oh dear. Oh who missed that? Who was that? Sene. That was quite bad. I just want to watch his replay. Sene completely missed it. It was a poor play from him. Watch he's gonna go towards it. Goes for the head and just misses the ball. Left his man unattended. Not uh not too strong from Sene there, but nevertheless it's one all. Uh happy with Thorne so far, keep it up. I suppose I am make a comment about the midfielders yeah no I'm gonna go get out there and show me why you deserve a place I think I might change it just as you know yeah let's keep it on attacking mm, yeah let's make it's only a friendly let's take off an eco and let's see how where's he gone where's he gone where's he gone Carlos Salvador let's see how he does what's his best uh, role it's fairly his team works quite high which I like he does do fairly well as a winger, actually. What about an inside forward? No. Winger's probably the... Oh, winger's definitely the best one for him. Undoubtedly, yeah, but probably with the attack role, he's best. Yeah, that's for sure his best position. Who else can we be subbing? Maybe... Who was the right mid we signed? Um, where's he gone? I swear... I'm already forgetting who we've signed and who we haven't, but there was a right mid that we signed and I mentioned him to you guys. Okay, maybe he was still on the reserves. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Not sure. I was going to bring him on for Sosaita, but oh well. 
we'll keep that the same. Maybe take on Fila. Also, you may notice I've re-signed Paddy McCarthy. Ended up renewing his contract. So yeah, let's give him just a bit of a showing. There we go. Let's start the second half. Font's played it back to McCarthy. Our only Irishman on the team, although that's not much of a surprise seeing as though we're a lower league Spanish team. Might try and turn the whole team into just a, a full Irish squad. That'd be quite interesting. Severo's not actually playing too well. Oh, I just remember. Hold on. I check tactics. Oh no, Severo is playing as a target. No, never mind. I just had that sinking feeling that I didn't actually have Severo playing as in his best role. But I do. So nothing to worry about. Actually, it is something to worry about because he's in his best role and he's not playing too great. Sene's played it back to e -Rice, though. e -Rice to Salvador. Oh, Severo, there we go. He's got his first goal of the season already. Be beautiful. Approaching the hour mark now. Happy with Salvador as well. Did he? No, he didn't get the assist. Font got the assist. I think he did help to create the goal, though. Here we go. Here's another attack. Sene. Severo. Is that corner? No, it's been kept in. Camille's there, though, with a good head to Sene to Font. It's a penalty. Salvador. Carlos Salvador. He's looking all right, isn't he? He's not looking too bad so far. Let's skip that, let's pause, let's make a couple of changes just to get some more guys, some fitness, some match fitness. Um, if I Arnaz, I can bring on for Font, although Font has got two assists, he's not been playing badly. Just going to bring Arnaz on. Let's take off Severo as well for... <laughs> yeah, go on, let's just give Valle a bit of a run out. Valle does not play well as a target man though, he's much better as a poacher. I remember that from last season. Who else? We could take off E Rice here for Frank Omgaba, I believe. Omgaba didn't get too much game time last season. We've also got San Julian as another defensive mid. Defensive mid is really where we're stacked with players. Generilo, E Rice, Omgaba, Vila, San Julian. We've got a bunch of defensive mids. Fernandez. Wow. Really don't need any defensive mids. Um, who else could I sub? Maybe bring Generilo on in the centre of midfield. For Sene. Yeah, that should work. Take off Camille. He's playing bloody well, but he is a bit knackered. So take off Camille for Bautista. I know I need to take Bautista back to a normal wing back. And is there any other subs that I can make? Fernandez on for Nacho Lopez? Yeah, sure. Uh, he doesn't play too bad as a limited fullback. That's fine by me. No, we've got Novo, Oscar, and San Julian. San Julian can come on for Sergio. That's fine. And then Sosait is the only player, and we don't have anyone that couldn't replace him. Also got Magnus Zelaya, but no, I'd much prefer to keep Esteban in goal. Let's confirm all of those changes. Let's go. Only a few subs, not too many. I can just imagine just on the sidelines, there's like 10 people all just warming up, getting ready to come on. <laughs> We're all still popping up. There's Luis Suarez. Good clearance from San Julian there. There we go. Salvador's on the ball. He's running forward. Played it to Valle. Valle's just holding up play a little bit. Played it back to Salvador. To Bautista. And the highlights ended. And we've injured one of their guys. Oops. Didn't mean to, I promise. I think I, I'm just gonna. Oh no, didn't mean to go on uh, performance. Let's just go back to the pitch. Yeah, I just wanted to stick it on control because it's going a little bit dodgy with all these substitutions. I mean, it's to be expected when you uh, completely change the whole team. But again, it is a oh, society. Oh, a little bit high there, buddy. That guy's got a cut. Their keeper is Zuripi. That is a cool ass name. Good challenge from San Julian, I suppose. And again from Generilo. Get the ball off Baba. 
I mean, he's put it over anyway. No big deal. Clear it. Good lad, Bautista. Salvador. Ooh, poor pass from Salvador, actually. But doesn't matter. Ongbo was there to pick up the slack. Ardenaz is making a run for it. First time we've seen him this game. He whipped it across. Oh. Okay, maybe not. 3-1. Happy with that. They're in the league below. Three seasons, not too bad at all. Three, three season? 3-1, three I meant to say. You know, Ardenaz is the only one who didn't play particularly well. Same goes for Vila, actually, but... Oh, well. Not too shabby whatsoever. Overall team talk, calm. Very happy with the result and the way you played. Post-match analysis. There we go. Yep, yeah, happy with that. Pretty much domination on all fronts. FC United beat Ashton. How did... Real Madrid only won one nil. Anyway, guys, I am gonna go and read through all the emails. The uh, inter in between match game play. I'm gonna go do that, and I'll be back with you guys just before we play Atletico Madrid, which is an interesting game for our uh, first episode back. But yeah, I'll see you guys just before that game. Okay, guys, I'm back just before the game against Atletico Madrid. Now, just want to bring your attention just to a couple of emails. So, the first one is we have got Albacete in the Spanish Cup second round. They are in the same league as us, so uh, that'll be an interesting game. We play them on in the 9th of September, so about a month and a week away. We've signed a fullback, Inigo Calderon, he was released on a free from Brighton after they got relegated and we just picked him up on a free, he's got vast experience, he's 33 years old, he's not taken up too much of our wage budget, I figured he'd be a healthy signing for the team to get the morale up, help be a tutor to the younger players, that sort of thing. We've got the promotion odds have come through, we're at 100 to 1 to win the league. Just wanted to bring attention to this here, how much e email just to show how we can prove them wrong. Almeria at 5-2, Valladolid at 3-1, Barcelona B at 5-1. Forget all of that. We are going to absolutely blow them all out of the water. We've also signed another guy, Chus Heavier. He is a midfielder from Cartagena. Cartagena said that he was a fan favourite and a very strong player and they were gutted to let him go. We did, it did um, take a little bit out of the wage budget with the, the transfer may eventually rose to 400k with the bonuses and stuff, but it has only taken about 150k out initially, but he does look like a relatively strong player. He is a midfielder, like I said in the when we were playing against um, the T Athletics Severe, I think they were called, that we just played. I do still need to find a striker. I'm working on that, trying to get a guy on loan, but that will probably only come into fruition in the next episode. So, this is the team we're going to play against Atletico Madrid. We've obviously got to play defensively, there is no question about that. So, we've got Severo up front with Heavier, the new signing in behind him. He plays best as an enganche. Well, I still don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, his stats fairly strong and enganche is his best uh, best position for that. I was imagining, well I wasn't imagining things when I said I realised we'd signed another uh, winger on the right side because we've got Petra Vicious who is a winger but he's a little bit young. I might send him out on loan, I'm not sure too yet, uh, just yet. And then we've also got this guy, Reese Turner, who's actually on trial with us currently. He's English and he was, I can't remember, he was let go from Oldham just to see how he does basically. None of his stats are really that great, probably not going to sign him but we've got him on uh, a free tr on a trial, that's the one. Um, so yeah, this is the lineup we're going to be running. Got Camille back at left back and he played very bloody well. It was like a seven point, yeah, seven point four. So happy to run with him. I did just realise though, I have forgotten to check font. See if does font play well defensively. He doesn't. I should have probably checked that first. He probably plays better. Actually, he probably plays better not on the pitch. To be honest, I'm thinking take off font for Eros. Looking at that, yeah, probably Eros, because Eros plays a lot better defensively. And I think we're going to need the defensiveness. Uh, ball winning midfielder, yeah, because we don't want his headings not too good. That's probably best, a ball winning midfielder, and then the rest of that's definitely fine. Although I think Salvador plays better if I stick him in attack. Should have covered this uh, before, hand sorry, I did completely forget. But that should be fine. Let's leave it at that. Maybe society just down to support. 
the reason I do that is just because, uh, obviously, Atletico Madrid, very strong team. So yeah, going to be playing with the counter-attacking mentality. I've got a little bit too heavy, I have realised on the left of midfield where I've been signing players. We've got Salvador, we've got Heavier, we've got Omol, Omolgui, we've also obviously got Eniko. Um, yeah, that's everyone we've signed on the left-hand side. Kind of gone a little bit overboard with that. Might need to bring someone else in on the right instead. Also trying to sell a couple of players. I have put David Fernandez up on the transfer list and the same goes for San Julian as well. Just because we are very stacked at the centre-back and defensive mid positions and they're our two weakest players in those positions, I believe. So put those up for sale on the transfer market. Obviously, we are not favourites to win this, but it is only 4-1. to one. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be. I'm just seeing what... I do recognise quite a few of their players. Obviously, Koke, Godin, Miranda, Juanfran. Oh, they've got Griezmann, Mandzukic on the bench. Raul Garcia, Pedro. But yeah, they've... They're nothing compared to the likes of Heavier, Severo, Esteban and Jonathan Vila. So, continue to opposition instructions. Again, listen to Joshua Lopez. Yeah, okay. Continue to team talk. There's no pressure. I'm going to have to go with that. The huge underdogs is not... No reaction, really? Okay. Show me why you should be in the scene. Good reaction for me, Rice, I suppose. And from Vila and Sergio. That's fine. Let's start the match. Might have to just go straight off the bat defensive, I might end up changing it to, but we'll see in a minute. Oh, Sosaita with the free kick. <gasps> oh, very close. Wasn't too bad of an effort. There we go, Sergio's just hoofed it forward to the, go for a goal kick. Oh my god, he's played four minutes for us and he's injured. God forbid. Um... Okay, Ardenaz then. Yeah, let's bring on Ardenaz. I think he plays better as a shadow striker though. Let's just quickly double check that. Yeah, I'd argue that's better. Confirm changes. Okay. I can't believe he's been on the pitch for four minutes and he's already injured. That is absurd. I hope that's not... If that's a serious injury, I'm going to be so mad. He's been... Quite a bit of money on him, took a, quite a chunk out of the way of, out of the uh, transfer budget. Oh, get stuck in. <sighs> Esteban with the save to him. Mm, structured. I'm going to change the uh, flexibility of it, or the fluidity, or what, what's it called? The team shape. That's the word I was looking for. Vila with the uh, no nonsense clearance there. Come on, just get stuck in. Just have no shame. Go hard or go home. I'm thinking while we're here. Let's go to instructions. I'm thinking, um, get stuck in. Yeah. Close down left, retain our structure with being more disciplined. Drop deeper, definitely. And get rid of that, maybe not have an option there maybe I'm not sure I don't want to pump ball into box I just want to huh not get not go route one clear balls to front clear ball to flanks actually yeah okay let's roll with that hoping that might uh be a little bit better good challenge <sighs> Esteban with the catch good lad Oh, no, it's finished the highlight. God damn it. Sene is not playing too great. Well, no one's really playing amazing. Susaita could be, though. No, he's put it too high. His few free kicks that I've seen him have uh, so far this preseason haven't been great compared to the ones he was pulling out of the bag last season. Ah, it's 1 0. <sighs> oh well. Who, should, who is that that should have been picking him up? Nacho Lopez. Hmm didn't. Yeah, Lopez should have been there. God damn it. Oh well. Not to worry. That's a risky throw, but okay, straight to Sergio, who's just given the ball away. No, oh, okay. Apparently, uh, 
Erath didn't want to get stuck in that, but he picked up the interception with Sasaita. He's played it straight to Godin. Ooh, that's close. I'm thinking just sticking on defensive now, to be honest. This isn't going well. I just want to hold out till half time. Make a good couple of changes. Camille hasn't impressed as much. Neither Severo. Although then again, Severo hasn't really had many opportunities. No, the performance hasn't been good enough. Yeah, Lopez isn't... I'm not going to even bother trying to change Lopez's opinion there because he's not playing well. So let's bring in Calderon, who we've just signed. What is his best role? Positioning isn't great. His mental stats are fantastic. There's... No, maybe limited fullback. Yeah. Hmm. Wingback's not bad, I suppose. What's his his pace actually isn't too bad. Twelve. No, but then his crossing and his dribbling is poor, so let's leave him as wingback defensive. Take off Jonathan Vila for Paddy McCarthy. Yeah. Paddy McCarthy, leave, just leave him there. Take off Camille for Danny Bautista. A lot of changes being made again. Bautista's uh, concentration isn't great. Neither, I don't even know what stat that is. Flair, no. Okay, don't that. How about fullback? Defend. That's probably a little bit better. Leave him there. Definitely take off Sene. That's just uh, no question about it. Sene is playing centre mid font, potentially, because he's playing as a playmaker this time rather than defensive. Composure and decisions isn't great. But deep lying. Box to box? No. Hmm. That's not no. Okay. His ball winnings, he's not going to be good as a ball winning midfielder at all. I already know that. Um, no, let's leave him as a deep lying playmaker with a support role. Okay, Severo. Got no one to bring on apart from Borja Valley for. Oh, actually, Omogi can play as a striker. Omogi. Sorry, let's give him a shot. His stats aren't bad. Oh, his bravery is three. Oh, good God. He doesn't play well as a complete forward. Advanced forward plays alright as. Yeah, okay, an advanced forward. I'm happy to leave him as. Arnaz isn't playing bad, so I'll leave him on. Potentially leave Salvador on. Actually, no. Bring on an eco, definitely. Yeah, that's the better option. Let's try running with that. Going to leave Sergio on. No one to even bring on for him, I don't believe. So, yeah, let's go with that. And hopefully we can uh, bring some counter-attacking goals out of the bag. Disagree with retain. Actually, no, against these guys, I agree with retain possession. I usually disagree with it, but I'm thinking it will actually probably be a good uh, instruction to give here. Mario Suarez, you bastard. Dirty challenge. Uh, he has gone into the referee's book. Calderon with the free kick. He played it forward to Font. Don't lose the ball, just go on. Ar no, Ardenas just passed the ball. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh my god. Oh, he's done it. Oh my god, he's actually done it. Oh my, oh my god, it's only a friendly, that's like his first touch. Literally, he took three touches, he, on his fourth touch he scored, just after coming up. Oh my god, what a guy, what a guy. God damn it, I've only got that guy on loan. We'll see how he does in the rest of the season, don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Good save, Esteban. Save indeed. Make the changes there. Paddy McCarthy's hoofed it. I'm like he's backtracking. I, I'm, so, some of these Spanish names are so difficult to pronounce. Like our subkeeper, Magan is a liar. I've got used to that one. But Omoigui and Susaita. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But he's got a free kick. <gasps> Not too great. I was expecting a little bit more there. I'm just going to check our... I noticed e race is knackered. <laughs> Might have to take him off for Omgba. Yeah. Does he play well as a ball winning mid? Actually no, Omba only plays defensive. Undo last Generilo would be better. 
Yeah, Jenna Relo's fantastic. Look at Jenna Relo's mental stats, man. They're crazy. Let's go with that. Kempe's on the ball. He's played it to Alejo. Sergio. Pushed it forward to Ardenaz. Font's picked it up. Eniko. Oh, he's been challenged by Juan Fran. A little bit back and forth here. I said it was a little bit back and forth here. Thank you. Better call Saul's been injured. Come on, keep playing game. But to be honest, I'd be totally satisfied with a one all. Come on. Especially since these guys won the league last season in real life. I don't know. Yeah, I don't actually know how they're doing in real life this season, Atletico. I think they're like third. Um, come on. Koke's on the ball, played it to Griezmann, gets stuck in. Oh, Esteban with the save again. Esteban is such a good keeper. He is so good. The day he's probably going to retire at the end of this season. He's going to be 41 by the end of this season, but he's still going to be pulling all those top-notch saves off the bag. Neuer, you better watch out for that uh, spot in the world's best 11 keeper position. That's, they have two shots and both of them just came off the asses of players. Esteban with the goal kick, or free kick I suppose for the offside. Well, we are really uh, being pinned in here. I'm not going to change any tactics though, because like I said, happy with a 1-1. Realistically, I'm even happy with a 2-1. If we like, if we lose two one, because we've defended quite well after half time. Miranda's been booked. Approaching the ninetieth minute now. Can we get a last ditch? No. Oh no, they've got a last ditch. There we go. So full time one all. Yeah. All right. Well done, guys. Fantastic. Although all those go. Oh my. I can't believe he scored. What a guy. Look at him. He's 20 years old. He's Nigerian. On loan from me. I don't know what the fact he's Nigerian has got anything to do with. But look at his, his recent form's not too good. And now he's just scored against Atletico Madrid. What an absolute hero. Anyway, post match analysis. <laughs> wow. That is football manager in a nutshell. 30 shots to my 4, 16 on target to my 2, 61% possession, and we managed to draw one all. Fantastic. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed. We will hit leave match, check our inbox very quickly. They rue the missed chances, and spoiler, our loan offer has been accepted for Danny Inglesias, the uh, forward that I'm hoping to get on loan from Deportivo B. But anyway, we'll uh, go into him in the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in this series. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. In the next episode, we'll be playing Jayen and Ath... That's not Athletic Bilbao. That's Bilbao Athletic. We'll be playing Bilbao Athletic and Jayen. But hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye for now. Game. Oh my fucking god! That's not everything by the looks of things. Okay, you can die. Thanks for dying. What about the other one I just saw? Oh my god! Again. How is it get up again? Get out of here.